Hey guys, in this video, we are going to show you how to install a Broadcom Mega Raid 9460 16i RAID controller into a Precision T5820 workstation. Then we're going to show you how to configure RAID with it. And then at the end of the video, we'll show you some benchmark results. These are the items that we are going to show you how to install. We'll start with the NVMe backplane and cable that is made specifically to connect to the Broadcom Mega Ray controller. This is actually the same backplane that is used to connect the NVMe backplane to the system board for JBOD. The only difference is the cable. This is the Broadcom Mega Ray 9460 16i controller. This card is unique compared to other RAID controllers because it is capable of running RAID with NVMe U.2 solid state drives. The controller supports RAID 0, 1, 5, 6, 10, 50, and 60. Unfortunately, we will only be able to test it with RAID 0 and 1 because we only have one cable kit to connect to it. We have two different NVMe U.2 solid state drives that we are going to test. The first is an 800 gig PCIe Gen 3 mixed use solid state drive and the second is a 960 gig PCIe Gen 4 read intensive solid state drive. This is our Precision T5820 test bed that we are going to use for our install and testing. The parts that we are using will also work in a Precision T7820 workstation. We'll start our install by removing the side panel to gain access to the internal components. The backplane that we need to gain access to is located in the front of the fan assembly. Now we are going to remove the plastic CPU shroud and uninstall the fan assembly to give us access to the drive backplane. Next, we'll remove the stock backplane that only works with SATA drives. Now we are ready to install the NVMe U.2 backplane and cable. Next, we'll clean up some cable management so we can reinstall our fan assembly.
It's finally time to install the Broadcom Mega Raid 9460-16i controller. We'll install it into the open PCIe X16 lane because it is open and it meets the minimum PCIe X8 requirement. To complete our install, we'll connect our cable to the C0 and C1 slots on the controller. Before we put our side panel back on, we have to reinstall our plastic CPU shroud. The shroud can be a pain to put back on properly, so be patient and take your time. We are now going to put a side panel back on to avoid the system not booting up due to intrusion errors. Next, we are going to remove the plastic storage cover on the front of the chassis. There is a little lever that you push down on the bottom front part of the chassis to release the cover. Now we are ready to install the NVMe U.2 solid state drives. We'll install them into the bottom two slots because those slots are connected to the Mega Raid controller. Now that our hardware install is complete, we are going to go into the system setup and show you the specs of our test bed. As you can see, our system has 48 gig of memory installed, and we have an Intel i9-10900X processor installed. Also, we are using UEFI as the boot option. Next, we'll go into the Mega Raid utility to show you how to configure the Raid. In other options, select Device Configuration. Then enter the Mega Raid utility. Now arrow down to Configure. Next, create Virtual Drive. We're going to leave it on Raid 0, but you can change that to your preferred Raid configuration. Now select your drives. The utility requires you to enable each drive and then apply changes. Lastly, arrow down and save the configuration. Now we are going to go back into the Mega Raid utility to make sure it created the virtual disk. And as you can see, it is created. Now we are going to show you some benchmark results using Addo Disk Benchmark.
If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.